Hello everybody, this is Reviews and More back with another quick writing utensil review. This is on the Friction brand pens. These are from Pilot and these things are awesome. I will go ahead and tell you these are probably not for someone who's looking to do anything artistic out there with them, but if you are someone who just needs to make sure you have a decent set of pens that are functionally erasable and actually do erase, these are great pens for you. This pack of pens and highlighters I got from Sam's Club. You can find them on Amazon. It was about 12 bucks for all these. So they're not the cheapest things in the world, but they're also not super expensive. And this is a full color pack as well as a four highlighter pastel pack. And the highlighters themselves are also erasable, which is also pretty neat. Again, not really for your artistic side. This is more for note taking, writing, doing your homework, that kind of stuff, taking notes for whatever reason you might need. But the secondary application I thought for these that is really important for parents out there, if you're a parent of a child who writes in pencil, but the pencil is not necessarily the most legible or it's, does, it's not dark enough, maybe they don't press down hard enough on the pencil or maybe they've learned to write, they don't have the strongest hands in the world, whatever you might have, this is a good option for you because the erasing function on this is actually functional. I grew up in the 90s, we had erasable pens from like Bic, but they were Garbo, they didn't really erase that well, they would always leave behind a lot of streaks things behind, and they just didn't do a good job these on the other hand do an excellent work I believe they're called friction because they actually erase using heat so theoretically I think this ink will actually disappear if you heat the paper up to a certain temperature with like a with like a hair dryer or something but they are perfectly functional they are fairly smooth writing they're not as smooth as other pens out there if you're if you want to compare it to like uh, the uniball one or the uh, your if you want to go pilot brand the g2 the g2s are smoother but these still work great but I think that has more to do with the type of ink they're using because it's a special specialized ink that uh, is removed by the friction rubbing with the uh, little eraser backs, which aren't really erasers, they're just little pieces of silicone that are used for to create friction and heat. So here we see me just testing out the pens and their color generally, making sure that they're not super streaky or anything. Again, the flow's nice, it does, it's nothing really to write home about, but again, the focus here is not on the even the color or the brightness, so the color's pretty good on these, but the smoothness of the writing is secondary to the fact that you can erase these and basically treat them the same way you would a pencil outside of things like testing scenarios where you have to fill in dots on, a, on like a, a Scantron form. So you can take your notes, you can erase your notes, you can do things in class, you can do your homework and not worry about having to do mark outlines that kind of stuff so overall you see there the colors are fairly vibrant and the erasability which we'll test in just a moment also is fairly um, how would I say effective it's a very effective erasing so you're gonna see me just run through this really fast the biggest concern I have was honestly for the black because I was like black is the pigment will probably stick around a little more but it really didn't there wasn't much left in fact you could see more of the indentation from when I'm writing on it than you could the actual leftover black ink the red had a little bit of issues I would say leaving behind a little more of the, like the color and you'll see a very close-up of the macro lens other results as well but overall this works in a note-taking homework doing trying to get stuff done, making a list kind of setting, so you don't have to worry about writing things down and using cr ugly cross-out marks with normal pens, and you don't also, also you don't have to worry about things like eraser marks or eraser fluff getting everywhere because these don't actually leave behind any residual eraser chunks because it's just a little piece of silicone on the back that creates friction. So here you see me just run through here to test the highlighters using black ink because black ink tends to run the most. We don't see a whole lot of running here. The highlighters don't seem to pick up any of the black ink as long as you let it dry. I would say five to ten seconds is all it takes. So if you uh, sit there and write a note and then highlight, highlight immediately, you might see some streaking, but it won't be too terrible. And then you're going to see me just kind of like right there. You see some streaking going up and down a little bit with that yellow. And that was on some black ink down at the bottom. And that was also me going very, very fast. So it wasn't the most uh, highlight typical the way you would, would highlight. And here you see me actually erasing the pen ink as well as the highlighter with the back little eraser pad of the, uh, I believe that's the pink highlighter right there. So they are across, they work. So, so the pen eraser and the highlighter eraser are the same thing. So they're again, they don't leave behind any chunks of eraser because they're they're not like a rubberized eraser that leaves behind chunks and takes up the pencil lead or takes up the ink. It actually just uses friction to create heat that then removes the actual ink itself. So you see a little bit of the red there, just a tiny bit under the macro lens, and then you'll see me actually test it out full blown real close here with the um, highlighted portion. Again, you see a little bit behind, but this is what you see up very very close. This is not what you're going to see on a typical note taking session or if you're doing homework. 
your teacher, if you're a kid, if your kid has a persnickety teacher who wants things to be super neat, they're not going to look at this and go, this is ugly, you should have erased better. It does a good enough job, and it certainly, I, I would say, is equal to what you would get from any given pencil eraser. So it's a good solution if, the, if that's what you're trying to find a solution for. And real fast, here's some up-close erasing just in real time, just so you can kind of see what's going on here, how quickly it runs through it. And overall, I'm shocked how good these are doing. They've been on the market for a while, but I hadn't used them because I hadn't had cause to have them. But these are great, honestly. They're, I think the number one application for parents would be for kids who like don't write well with pencil just because they don't bear down hard enough on the pencil to make it dark. This is a good solution for that because it lets them write with the freedom of being able to erase mistakes in a way that one doesn't, and also it doesn't make a mess. You don't have eraser marks everywhere, which is kind of nice. So overall, really happy with the product. I think it's a great product for kids out there who are trying to do their homework and still stay neat and just note-taking generally.